In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for HCN plus NaOH, hydrogen cyanide plus sodium hydroxide. First thing we need to do with net ionic equations is balance the molecular equation. Our molecular equation here, it's already balanced, so that's good. Then we need to write the state for each substance. So we have HCN here. It is soluble in water, so we're going to write AQ. But it's important to note it's a weak acid. Sodium hydroxide, that's a strong acid, so it's going to be a strong electrolyte. It's going to dissolve and dissociate into its ions. Sodium compounds are very soluble. Put an AQ. And then water, that's a liquid. So we have the states for each substance. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions. That'll give us the complete ionic equation. And the key here is strong electrolytes. So HCN, we said this is a weak acid. It's a weak electrolyte. Because of that, we're not going to split it apart, just HCN. And I'll write aqueous and everything at the end. Sodium hydroxide, though, that's a strong base. It's a strong electrolyte. It'll split apart. Sodium on the periodic tables in group 1, so that'll be a 1 plus. And the whole hydroxide ion, that has a 1 minus ionic charge. So we'll have Na plus plus OH minus. So those are the reactants in our net ionic equation. On the product side, we said sodium has a 1 plus charge. The cyanide ion, that's a 1 minus. So these are things you either remember or you look up on a table of common polyatomic ions. So we have Na plus, and then we have the cyanide ion, which is Cn minus. And then water, we don't split liquids apart in net ionic equations, so that's just H2O. So this is our complete ionic equation. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of this complete ionic equation. The only thing I see that's the same in the reactants and the products is that sodium ion, that Na plus there. So I can cross that out, and what's left will be my net ionic equation for HCN plus NaOH. I'll clean it up and write the states in, and we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for hydrogen cyanide plus sodium hydroxide. You'll notice that charge is balanced. We have a negative charge within the reactants, and then a negative charge here on the products. And if you count the atoms up, they'll be the same on both sides as well. So mass is balanced. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for HCN plus NaOH. Thanks for watching.